Hey, I'm Thomas Forsteg. Uh, my friends at Vivid Sage call me Tommy, and I am. Well, I'm playing. A, we're, all, we're all playing a couple roles, I think. So I have uh, a cop. Um, I'm Laura Extrand, and I am one of the six actor singers in Gone Missing. I'm Scott McGowan, and I'm playing multiple roles in this wonderful show. Hi, I'm Melody Stubbs, and I play various roles in Gone Missing. I was aware of Gone Missing when it was first written in the early 2000s, and for some reason, maybe it was a mix of people in the company then, or what kind of shows we were doing then, it, I kind of put it on a shelf, and then when it was redone at Encores um, more recently, I started thinking about it again, and when I started imagining it with the people that we have in the company now, I really thought it was a great fit for us, and also the messages and the subject matter seemed like a good fit for the times, so um, I reconsidered it, which is very rare, and uh, and I really think it is a great fit for us. We're having a terrific time. Well, uh, you know, you don't go around in real life uh, you know, singing in the middle of, of talking, um, but this, this particular show doesn't actually do that either. <laughs> in most musicals, the, the songs will come out of the scenes or, or uh, something that is, is relevant. And, each song sort of has their own flavor, and it's their own story. And sometimes they're broken up within other stories. So it's 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 like a monologue. When you're, when you're approaching the song, you're approaching the song as an actor. Like I'm going to tell this story through music. I have actually only ever performed in musicals. There were um, various times that I thought I was going to be doing a straight play, and then I found out, oh. Nope, you're going to be singing. Like I played Prospera, who doesn't sing, even though it's a musical play. And then they turned the epilogue into a song. <laughs> so, yeah, musicals only so far. So it turns out that singing and moving at the same time is very challenging. Um, I haven't done a lot of musicals. I think, um, yeah, it's interesting because when you're, when you're, like, talking to the audience, right? with the spoken word, there's nothing between you, I feel like, right? It's just direct communication. But when you're singing uh, and trying to convey or communicate something to the audience vis-a-vis -vis a song, I feel like for me anyway, it feels like there's uh, a thing, something that I have to kind of go through to get there, if that makes sense. Like it's not a direct communication. So getting used to, to that, I think, is a, is a different thing between musicals and plays. It's kind of a chance to really be free with the kind of characterizations that we're doing. And um, there's a certain like heightened quality to, to the characters that we're playing, which is really fun. Really love that. Um, and I think the preparation, I mean, I can't say enough good things about Joshua as a director. And he is really specific. He's a very visual director. So there are moments where we're able to really get down to the details of physical place on the stage, where we turn our head, um, how we're synchronizing or not synchronizing some movement. So it's really a fun visual storytelling exercise that sometimes plays are, but a lot of times realistic plays are not. So it's been really fun to do that. Josh was also a dancer and choreographer, so we just kind of have the bonus in him of, of doing both things. Um, but besides the fact that he has choreographed a couple, you know, a couple, I hesitate to call them dances, but movement pieces, um, he's just extremely um, clear about what he wants visually. So even the things that are not choreographed in dance steps are still choreographed. So he really is bringing this visual sense to the whole play.